Hey, what's going on, ladies and gentlemen? You are here with your main man, Slash 687, with another PC-related video. And I'm not talking GPUs, I'm not talking CPUs. We're not talking about this or this! We're talking about PC components in general, everything, all across the board. From your GPU down to the little rubber standoffs on the bottom of your case, it's all going to shit. We're completely and utterly fucked, but not really. Uh, but it's definitely easy to notice that PC prices as a whole are not what they used to be once you hop onto PC part picker and you take a look at the price over time charts, which I recommend you do, by the way, if you haven't before. Uh, they really open up your eyes to just how fucked we've been over the last year. But you'll notice a whole bunch of upward trends, whether you go to CPUs, whether you go to GPUs, whether you go to RAM. It's all showing the same thing. The worst example though, is when you take a look at RAM, DDR3, DDR4, doesn't matter. No, my friends, that's not a beautiful hill to go sledding down. It's the more than doubling of the price of RAM over the last year. Next, take a look at GPU prices, which were dramatically affected by the recent boom in cryptocurrency over the last year. And you can see that for the most part, the prices of GPUs has stabilized, which a few months ago was really good news. But that's all GPU prices have done. They've just stabilized and they've sat there for months. We've yet to see the prices return to their equilibrium. And am I pissed? No, I'm not really pissed. That's the market for you. You never know when all your past expectations are going to be thrown out the window and replaced with fucking $200 RAM kits. It just happens. It does bring up the question though, if PC gaming will become less mainstream with these prices rising, leading to a reemergence of consoles is the best choice for the budget-minded gamer. But I can promise you that won't be the case. These current gen consoles are extremely PC-like. They use pretty much all the same components and with component prices increasing, the price of consoles should theoretically see an increase as well, just like just standard gaming PCs. So it's not just us, the glorious, genetically superior PC master race that will feel these effects, but also those filthy console peasants. And with the holidays on the horizon, it might just mean that your mom and pop won't be willing to throw down the shekels needed to buy your snot-nosed ass a gaming PC, or a console for that matter. So that means you better take advantage of these holiday deals, fool. Cyber Monday, Black Friday, Ash Wednesday, Taco Tuesday. You better take advantage of this stuff, mate. And you might be able to beat those price increases and come out a winner. In fact, there's already a few sales you can take advantage of right now. Razer's already dropped some holiday deals for some of their mice and keyboards, and Nvidia is releasing a Star Wars themed Titan XP. Check it out, baby! You got the LEDs going all the way down the side, boy. You got Yoda colored one, you got a Darth Maul colored one, each one a fabulous choice. Just pull the trigger, make the purchase. It's the greatest release of all time. So what kind of deal are you getting on this Titan XP? Uh, you actually aren't getting a deal, it's still $1200, but it is Star Wars themed, and I felt it was necessary to mention it. So there you have it, ladies and gentlemen. Step up, hop to it, get on these deals before you get left in the dust. PC prices might never stabilize again within our lifetime, so you better take advantage. Uh, if you're interested in purchasing some PC components, or anything at all for that matter, please use my Amazon Associates link in the description. For real, buddy, please use it. I'm a poor college student, I ain't got no cash, I'm struggling. In fact, I haven't even paid my electricity or my internet, so I have no clue how I'm even recording this right now. Oh, wait a minute. What was... Oh, f shit, man.